congratulations on your new Eaton EPDU G3 purchase. Featuring Eaton's third generation EPDU technology, you'll be able to enjoy best in class features such as IEC grip outlets, an LCD pixel display, and not to mention, ease of installation. This video will show you just how easy it is to install these EPDUs right out of the box. By following these easy installation steps, you'll be distributing power inside your rack in no time. Inside your box, you'll find an installation pack and network pack, if network enabled. The installation pack contains a setup guide, screws, an alternate clip foot mounting bracket, and source identification stickers, red and blue. The network pack contains a network cable, serial RS-232 cable, and a daisy chain splitter. Take your EPDU out of the box and mount it into your rack. You do this by matching up the pre-installed mounting buttons on the back of your EPDU to the keyhole slots on the side of your rack, then sliding your EPDU into the slots. Mounting buttons come pre-installed on each unit to reduce installation time. In addition, these double-sided aluminum buttons accommodate different variations of metal thickness when rotated. Once your EPDU G3 is mounted into your rack, plug in your hardware, including servers and storage devices, into your EPDU. Secure each plug in place by pushing down on a lever-actuated grip that's integrated into each outlet. Once the levers click into the grip position, the plugs are secured from accidental disconnect due to bumps or vibrations. The integrated low-profile trip protection circuit breakers safeguard your EPDU to protect it from accidental shutdown. After your EPDU is in place and plugged in, the LCD pixel display will turn on. Here you're able to view voltage, power, total input, meters, alarm history, and IP addresses as well as set your LCD orientation by using the local buttons. All EPDU G3 models offer side mounting button locations so you can mount your EPDU at a 90 degree rotation. This prevents interference with hot swap fans and power supplies. To do this, unscrew the mounting buttons from the back of your EPDU, then screw them into the side button locations. Eaton patented clip feet allow for various mounting methods where the keyhole mount is not an option. Mount your clip feet by screwing them into the holes on the side of your rack. Once they're mounted, secure your EPDU in place by pushing it into the clip feet until it snaps into place. Once you close your rack doors and look at your watch, you'll realize you installed your EPDU in record time. To learn more about Eaton EPDU G3 features, visit eaton.com slash EPDU G3.